What would Richmond look like without the Coliseum? It's been a part of the city's landscape for 50 years. But there's a new redevelopment plan for that area. What would it look like and how soon could it be finished? Our senior reporter Wayne Koval has the answers. More of these may be in the future for downtown Richmond. It's fun doing small things downtown. Like For those who work, go to school or live near the Coliseum. It's a reminder of the city's past. Word there are plans to change the landscape of 20 city blocks. I think oh, investing near downtown is important. Some say that is a welcome idea for the future. Turn it into low-income housing or restaurants to draw interest in the area it would definitely benefit the people now, like how the Coliseum benefited people in the past. Changing it to something beneficial now would be a lot better for people today. The plan would see the Coliseum gone. It's different from Navy Hill because it doesn't involve uh, an arena. Then sell some city and privately owned properties to see the area redeveloped. So parking lots we want to turn into uh, usable sites like buildings, parks, you name it. City center, as the plan is named, geared towards commercial, residential with some low income housing. We have a lot of uh, underutilized uh, pieces of property in downtown Richmond that we want to see some development, which will bring back a return to the city of Richmond. A return that ultimately can help the city tax base. I think investing into the community is important, especially for low income and nonprofits to help the homeless population here. And the mayor says some are already on board with the plan. VCU Health, J. Sargent Reynolds, uh, the Biotech Park, the Commonwealth of Virginia, uh, the convention center, all are stakeholders in this process. And so I'm glad to have them at the table. And for those already in downtown. Yeah, I think it could definitely be a bonus for the city and uh, people who live around here. And um, yeah, be net positive.